Are markets truly random? Many traders believe so. What if I told you they are not? And in fact, every market hides a secret edge that is waiting to be uncovered. If you don't know what I mean by market edge, you're probably leaving money on the table or even worse, losing money. So let me show you how finding market edge can truly transform you from a losing trader to a winning trader. Most traders fail because they don't understand their market. They think markets are random, and they also think that every strategy has to work on every market. And that is a total BS. I mean, well, it is true for long-term trend following. If you are doing a 100-day breakout, well, you in theory, you should assume that this strategy should work on all markets. Now, granted, it doesn't work on all markets, but it works enough times that it makes money long-term. That's what all trend following hedge funds do. But for short term traders, somebody like me, this doesn't apply because every market have a unique edge. And if you find that edge, then you can easily build a robust strategy that exploit that edge and make you money. So in this video, I will show you how to do a test to find a market edge and how can you exploit that to build a robust, profitable strategy? So first, let's define market edge. It is a statistical advantage in a financial market that you can exploit to make money with a high probability of success. Think of any pattern. Let's pick a seasonal pattern. So for example, the S&P 500 index tends to go up at the end of every month. There is a fundamental reason why this happens. But as an algo trader, I don't care about the reason. I only care about the data. And if there is enough data statistically good, then I can take that trade and I can expect to make money enough times to cover my losses and end up with an extra money that is my profit. Now, patterns comes in all shape and sizes. There are one day pattern, two day pattern, end of the month pattern, futures expiry date patterns, and so on and so forth. But what we care about is the raw market edge. This is the foundation of my algo trading masterclass. You build strategies based on this market edge. Now, why we are looking for this raw edge? Because this is the edge where the markets behave on daily basis based on this edge. Great. So what is the method to run this type of test? So I will explain to you the concept and then you can apply the concept in any trading platform. In fact, you can even do it in Excel. So here is how to run the test. You go in one direction, either long or short, you pick it, it doesn't matter. And you buy on every bar. So we load the market data, we set our commission and slippage to zero, and we buy every bar. Then we will hold for one, two, three, four, or five bars. We can optimize from one to five. Once we are in a trade, we hold. And then when we exit, we will wait three, six, nine, or 12 bars to enter again. So it's very easy. We are entering on every day. Once we are in a trade, we exit either the next day or after two, three, four, or five days. Once we exit, we wait either three, six, nine, or 12 days, and then we enter again. And once we enter, we either exit on one, two, three, four, or five, and so on and so forth. If we run this simulation, uh, five holding bars and four types of waiting, so five times four, that's 20 combinations. So that is not enough. Now I can extend this. I can say, well, hold from one to 30, but then we are waiting for 30 bars on daily bars. That's a month. That's too long. So in order to increase the variety of the strategies that we are getting, we can introduce a coin flip. Now a coin flip, it's either heads or tails, assuming that the coin is balanced. So balance means it, it's exactly in the middle. But if you flip a coin 10 times, you might get nine tails and one head. So that's not good. You need to flip the coin actually more than a thousand to get to the 50-50. In fact, it's 10,000. So 10,000 gets you really close to 50-50. Now also, I can change the tilt in the coin. So if I move the tilt a little bit more heads than tails, 
and uh, let's say 60 40 that means if i flip 10,000 times i will get 60 times 60 percent heads and 40 percent tails so now we introduce the coin flip and this is 40 60 40 heads 60 tails 45 55 and so on and so forth so now we have five times five times four that's a hundred combinations now remember every time i run this simulation this 60 40 is not exact until i run it ten thousand times so when i run this simulation ten thousand times i will reach 40 60 split so in order to get to ten thousand I need to run this simulation 500 times. So these combinations are 100. And if I run this 500 times, then I will end up with 50,000 strategies. These strategies will be unique. And so that is the clever trick, is introducing the coin flip with tilt, you will get a different strategy every time because you're changing the entry. And in fact, I run this hundreds of thousands of times and you cannot get two exact strategies out of this. Now, you might get the same net profit or the same number of trades or the same average trade or the same drawdown or the same profit factor and so on and so forth. But it's never exactly all metrics are the same. I didn't just look at this because, you know, these are every run is like 50,000 strategies. So I have a formula to find out if I have a copy of, an, of the same strategy. And I never uh, find one. And that is our test for every market. And then we collate all this data into an Excel sheet and let's find out what we get. And if you thought that the market is random, then you are correct. <laughs> I know this is a surprise, but some markets are truly random. This is corn futures. And as you can see, I run 50,102 simulations. Every row here represents one strategy. So you can see the strategy is daily, backtest 18 years. This is the return to drawdown, net profit, maximum drawdown, number of trades, and so on. So all these figures. So every row is a strategy. Now, this, the top line, the blue line, is the average of all these strategies. And as you can see, the average net profit is $726, while the minimum maximum, look at this, 60,000, uh, the minimum losing strategy, and 61,000, the maximum profitable strategy. All in all, if you average all of them, they are 726. We are like almost in the middle. And we can see it in the chart here. So this is the number of strategies, and these are the buckets. So for example, this is, Every strategy that is making between $0 and $10,000. And there are 13,923 strategies that is in this bucket. So these are the profitable buckets and losing buckets. Overall, as you can see, we have a slight edge in the profitable strategies. And that's why our average is above zero. Now, in this case, I am going short. If I flip it and I go long, then these will be flipped. Now, if I isolate the really good strategies, meaning good average trade, good number of trades, good exposure, and so on and so forth. So out of 50,102 strategies, only 403 strategies passed that filter. That is 0.8%. So there is no edge in this market. Slightly, slightly, I would say this is noise because the average is $700. That's noise. And 0.8% prove my point. The chart prove my point. So trading core futures, there is nothing. There is nothing as raw edge in this market. The market goes up, goes down. There is no direction in core futures. This is the data for Euro, US dollars. So the test is not run on Forex. It's run on futures. Now here we have a slight edge. We can see the average out of the 50,000 plus strategies. On average, we are making $18,000. Again, this is going short. So if I flip it, this will be minus 18,000. And if I do the same filter that I did on the corn futures, we end up with 1,286 strategies passing that filters. That's 
2.6% of strategies considered good. And if I look at the chart, we can easily see that now we do have a slight edge. We can see the split is not in the middle. So these are the number of strategies in each bucket. And we can see now that the 0 to 10 all the way to above 140K, these are all green strategies and we have less strategies. And that's why our average is $18,000. So already the Euro USD market is not the same as the corn futures. So these are both futures markets, but they are totally different. One is sitting right in the middle, one have a slight edge on the short side. This data shows natural gas. Again, we have above 50,000 strategies. Each row is a strategy, but look at the average this time, $70,000. So the average of the 50,000 strategies is $70,000. And if I apply the same filter, look at this now, I get 7,454 strategies that are really good. That represent almost 15%. And again, we can easily see it in the chart. Look at this. It's clearly, look, the number of strategies that are positive compared to the negative. And finally, I'm showing you the S&P 500 index. Again, represented by futures. This is at ES daily session. Again, same test, 50,000 plus strategies. And this time we are making $74,000 on average. That is huge. Now we are getting 15.2% of the strategies are passing those filters. That's really, really good. And if I show you the chart, again, it's extremely easy. Look at this huge number of positive strategies in our distribution. So clearly our statistical test proves that not all markets behave the same way. Some of them, the distribution is right in the middle. It's, it is random. You cannot find an edge on the daily time frame. Some of them have a slight edge like the Euro US dollar, but some of them show huge advantage on one side or the other. So the ES, it's long and natural gas is short. So I will show you what you can do with this kind of information and how you can pass 95% of other losing traders who are looking at charts and Fibonacci and ICT and all this BS and trying to scalp one minute, blah, 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 because they cannot find a profitable strategy on the market because they don't know how to do it. This is Strategy Quant X, and of course you can build randomly in Strategy Quant X, but once you are armed with the market edge knowledge, you don't need to build randomly anymore. So let's pick this one. This is a long edge. There is nothing in the short side. Long side, I'm going to fix my exit at three bars. And let me show you how easy it is to find a profitable strategy on the long side on the S&P 500. You can see here I'm trading the S&P 500 using TradeStation. Now, honestly, I didn't play with these uh, indicators. So whatever the default value I put there. And of course, you can test this yourself if you have SQX. So here is the stochastic uh, default value. I just put it long. I'm exiting after three bars. Run full back test, profitable. Let's bring that in. Let's go CCI. Again, default value. Run full back test, profitable. Close below Bollinger Band. Run full back test, profitable. Again, default value. I'm not changing anything. Close below yesterday close three times in a row. Run full back test, profitable. RSI 2 below 25, profitable. Ultimate C, default value below 25 profitable. So you see, it doesn't matter what I do, I am profitable going long mirror version on the S&P 500. And that is the power of this market edge. Once you find it, then it's very easy to build a profitable strategy. This is the default value for every indicator that I put in. And of course, you can adjust those values, add filters, add a stop loss, 
there are million ways to build a profitable strategy going long on the S&P 500. And remember, we have the short edge on the natural gas. So again, I'm using natural gas daily time frame, trade station, and I'm using the same indicator, except now all of them are the opposite. So CCI, instead of below minus 75, now it is above 75. I am exiting at a fixed three bars. So only the short side run full back test profitable close greater than bollinger bands profitable close above close three times in a row profitable ultimate c default values profitable stochastic default values profitable rsi default values profitable again that is how easy to find a short mirror version strategy on natural gas you will be ahead of, I would say, 98% of traders trading these two markets this way. And of course, in my Algo Trading Masterclass, I provide a database of edges for all futures markets, uh, Forex, ETFs, and crypto. But just remember, they don't exist in all markets. So we picked the highest edges. There are more like it, but it's not available in all markets. But why do you care? You don't want to trade all markets. You only want to trade the highest edges in some markets and you'll end up with a really good portfolio. And that is the power of market edge, which is again, the foundational step in my Algo Trading Masterclass. That's how you build robust strategies. If you like this video, then you will love the next one.